Welcome everyone, this is Will with the Wangzilla channel and uh, a real quick uh, video on how to test your dryer outlet, 240 uh, volt and I actually have this dryer outlet right here in my garage. Now, uh, probably doesn't make a lot of sense to have the, gar uh, the garage with my dryer, nowhere for a washer to go, but uh, actually when I had my house built, I had them put a 240 in it. I didn't specify what outlet I wanted. Uh, I plan on running a welder or something like that. So they just gave me the generic uh, four prong uh, dryer outlet. Now, older houses, um, the dryer outlets were three prong and they had a grouped uh, common and ground um, these were actually just a single thing, but I guess at some point, uh, maybe 20 years ago or something like that, they uh, decided to go with the four prong and separate the uh, common and then your ground or neutral and ground, however they want to, to label that. Uh, I guess it reduces risk of shock or something like that to your dryer uh, or people working on the dryer or something like that. And then you have the hot and hot uh, here and here. And uh, so that's the difference and uh, real easy to test this to make sure your outlet's working or if you plan on replacing your outlet, which I plan on doing in another video uh, to more of a, like a, a four prong uh, or a three prong or a welder type uh, outlet of some sort, uh, you want to make sure when you do cut power to, to go ahead and test your outlet and make sure power is off to the outlet before you go ahead and open up the panel and start tinkering with the wires and then you know blow your arm off or whatever. And it's pretty uh, pretty simple to test this. What you're going to need is a standard multimeter. Uh, I believe I got this one off of Amazon or, or, or Harbor Freight or something like that. I'll put a link in the description for maybe a couple different meters. Uh, but they're relatively inexpensive. And as you can see, this one is a Mastec MS8268. Uh, and you have a number of different ports down here. Four ports to plug in your, your little leads uh, for doing your testing, which are these. And you have a number of uh, the dial here to, to go to if you want to test like resistance or something, uh, voltage, uh, AC, note the uh, kind of a wave here for AC. And then you got DC, more of a, a straight line for this test because this is an AC outlet because um, it is your home, uh, residential and whatnot. Uh, you're going to want to, uh, when you do your test, first you want to make sure you have the, the your leads in the plugged in the right spot and they snap in. Pretty simply, as you can see here, this one indicates uh, it has a, the voltage, does uh, resistance and, and whatnot, frequency. But so you wanna make sure your, your red lead is in the correct port or you won't test properly and potentially can damage your multimeter if you're testing the wrong thing in the wrong um, plug-in. And then of course, commons right here for your black lead. They're both, uh, there's a number of different variations, but uh, for this, we're just gonna use the pointy ones um, right here. And you want to go ahead and turn it on to AC, which is this on this meter. Some have multiple uh, if you, ranges of AC voltage with different dial settings. This one has one. And then you adjust your range with the range button. Right now it's set to between like 0 and 9.999 volts, which of course being we're expecting 240 volts on this uh, outlet. So we're going to want to hit the range button until the decimal moves. Uh, so you have a hundred um, range here. So we can go between zero, 999 volts. And then you want to take your leads here. All right, real quick, I moved the meter uh, in, in a spot. It's a little easier to read on camera. And um, as you can see here, we're gonna wanna go ahead and test. First, we're gonna test uh, between the ground, which is this bottom uh, port. And you're gonna wanna test each of the hot sides and you should get about 120 volts ac plus or minus a couple volts so you want to make sure you get this thing in here and you actually get it on the uh, the metal that's in there and then you want to place this one like so that oh, slipped off and as you can see 121 volts is close enough it's, like i said plus or minus uh, about a volt or two and then you want to get back on the metal tab you can look in the plug, you can see a little metal nub. You wanna make sure you get it on that. If you're just touching plastic, of course, uh, you won't register anything. And you can see here, 121 volt, also good. 120, 120. And then finally, you want to test uh, between both of these and you should get the combined voltage rating, 
which would be 240 volts. And 242, so that's good. That's telling me this plug is hot and you don't wanna go ahead and disassemble this and start messing with the wiring behind it um, until you do cut off power. I'm gonna go ahead outside, I'm gonna cut my breaker, I uh, have a, a dedicated circuit to this specific outlet, and then I'll come and retest it and show you that uh, there is no more power to this outlet, so you can uh, make sure you do the same if you do plan on uh, messing with these outlets. Heading on outside to my electrical panel, mounted on the side of my house. Right here, typically it's gonna be near your meter. And then you got the panel box. These things are kind of tricky sometimes to get off because of course, you know, it, hey, it doesn't, doesn't just come off. Notice you have to kind of yank it and you have to kind of, kind of shut it here. But you want to push this little nub in and then pull the, the panel downward and then it should come loose and you should be able to open the panel up. And then of course here is how mine is labeled. I guess whoever wires everything up may label this differently uh, and whatnot. Now, garage 220, that is the uh, outlet I've been working on. So I want to throw this off position here, which will be to the left on this side, to the right on this side will be off. So for me, flip it off. And then you want to make sure your panel gets closed back up. <sighs> And then the little nub comes back out and of course you can't reopen it super secure go ahead and walk inside real quick all right i made it back to my uh 240 dryer outlet and i'm going to go ahead and confirm that it is indeed uh no more power to this outlet and uh, i still have my multimeter set up uh, from before so of course it's in the uh, voltage it's still set for up to you know over 100 and we'll go ahead and do the same test ground to one of the hot ones and it's still reading if the wire was out of your way still reading zero or just about zero on that one zero on that and zero across so this is no longer a hot outlet and uh, yeah everything should be good to go uh, as far as doing any kind of work or anything like that, but that does verify that this is uh, no longer powered. And there we have it. So that is uh, pretty much how you would uh, test the voltage of your dryer plug. So if you have any issues with your dryer, uh, first thing to check would be the voltage on your dryer plug. Just make sure you are getting the appropriate voltages uh, between, of course, the ground and hot, ground and hot, and then between both hot ports here, you want 120, 120, 240 across. If you're not getting that, you want to then, of course, investigate. Uh, of course, if you're getting zero on those, make sure your breaker isn't tripped. And then if you're getting some weird wonky voltages, well, that'll be a little bit more of an investigation or maybe an electrician or something like that. Maybe something's going on, uh, you know, in your walls there. So we'll go ahead and wrap this up. Hopefully it's a little bit informative. I'm going to do another one of these on testing a th uh, three prong uh 240 voltage and then maybe some other stuff so uh stay tuned feel free to like subscribe share and uh comment let me know what else you'd like to see all right peace